Okay, so we just got in the furniture pallet, right, from um, from uh, Nova Commerce. Nova Commerce. I bought a lot of stuff from these guys before. I kind of like this stuff. They must be like a return center or something like that. And I bought this load for six thousand dollars plus shipping. So uh, that's it's really cheap. I think it's under three hundred dollars a pallet, which is a good deal. So we're gonna unbox some of this stuff and show you exactly what we got. Oh, a sink. I, this, I don't think this goes to the, oh. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's just a bowl, right? Yeah, I said it's not very becoming right now. Oh, a greenhouse. Oops. Don't cut that too deep. Hold on. Like a mattress pad? Is it a box to it? No, this is another Green. greenhouse. Oh, uh, headboard? It's the same brand. Is it just their return center for this company or something? Wall Sport. Paul cut it. Come on, Paul. I want to say I unloaded it. Which I thought I did, but Dinosaurs up and down, we were off. But didn't you and I unload that truck load? Because we went through it as we were unloading. Paul. Yeah. Well, I don't know what the other one was, right? Is that the same? Yeah, I don't think this is a very good pallet, but I'm not disappointed. I mean, at that price, you don't, you just can't lose at that price. This is a seatbelt. This is Depot. What do you suppose it is? Does anybody know what this is? Looks like some sort of. I don't know. They got to be. It is great. No, it's gonna be some sort of room again, like a, just because they're too. We're gonna have to put those together. It's just too lightweight. Look okay. Let's see what you got. Yeah. This is our slogan in Vegas, bad decisions make good stories, that's right. Life is all about telling stories, you know. And it's weird now, because as you get older and older, the stories become older and older, right? Like I have a story with Michael Jordan, I have a story with LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, I have a story with uh, Tiger Woods. Oh no, no, not Tiger Woods. That was Michael Jordan. Anyways, I have a lot of good stories. So definitely bad decisions make good stories. You really? <laughs> Jonathan. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Oops. I wonder. I wonder if it was brass and they just painted it. Doing again? Oh. That's why I'm not allowed to touch anything. So initially with this knife, this sheath is kind of cheesy, so I wasn't sure what it was. But then when you open it up, can you read the writing on it, Stanley? It says National Rifle Association, a legacy of freedom, limited edition knife. Look at that bad boy, huh? I would say that's probably like a 50 to $100, somewhere in that range, somewhere in there. Wonder how sharp it is. Oh, please. Cut for a cut. Give her a reason. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm thinking. Are you carrying your gun? Yes, I am. You where see the leg bouncing right now? <laughs> With your jeans so tight, how? The, where could you put it? On me. Oh. It's right behind me. Oh, it's in her purse. How's your diet going? Oh wait, he has to move the cheese fries out of his face. Fuck. Real good. Right, so you don't eat until what time? Five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> or three. Five o'clock somewhere. Here's some of the stuff some guy just, just brought into me and sold me, right? So that's Pete Crow Armstrong. 
Not sure, I don't think that's worth very much. All right, this one is Trevor Bauer. If anybody knows anything about baseball cards, let me know if you think these cards are worth any money. Joe Adele, Joe Adele. This one looked pretty neat because it's an autographed card, autographed card, and this is a Michael Chav Chavis from Boston. So this is a numbered autograph card. I kind of like that one. I think this one might have been worth like 20 bucks on eBay. You ready for the next one, Stan? Look at these bad boys. These are like from the 20s. These are, um, you know, cigarette or cigar cards. I forget what they call them. Yeah, little cigar. Old, old, old cards. Now, I don't particularly think that they're worth a lot of money, but they're super cool to own something, you know, 100 years old like this. I've never owned one of these cards. I think they might be worth, you know, 20, 30, 40 bucks a piece, but, uh, you know, especially the one, the one has the crease all the way down the middle all the way down the middle, but this one's in pretty good shape, but they're, they're definitely super cool and they're fun to have. So I'm gonna put these in my collectibles box. I have a box of all my collectibles and gold and stuff like that that I buy out throughout the years. And then maybe uh, maybe when, it, when, when we uh, decide to get rid of the store and retire, we can, uh, me and my partners will sell all of our collectibles, do an auction or something and try to see if we get maximum money out of these things. Helen, they're, you know, she's asking about the container ships, what's gonna happen during Christmas time. I mean, if you don't know supply chain is disrupted right now, then you're not paying attention. You know, we, when Stanley and I were in Vegas, we went to a Walgreens, Walgreens was empty, absolutely empty. There was nothing in it. You go into Walmart, you go into all these stores and they got hardly anything in the stores. The whole supply chain is being disrupted. And one of the biggest catalysts is they can't get enough drivers they can't get enough truck drivers the truck drivers got to come pick it up to pull it out of the out of this the market I mean out of the um, the dock right but they're not available they're, they're work everybody's working everybody you know nobody wants to work right now 300,000 people you know left the job force last month you know there's just too much stimulus going around they don't need to work anymore I don't know I, don't, I, I mean they say there's gonna be a great toy shortage I would just recommend you buy your Christmas presents now certainly before Black Friday. Get them now so you don't have a problem in the future. What are you gonna do if you wait until December 7th and start trying to buy Christmas presents and nothing's available? That's totally possible. How many dads do that? Do you, have you already got your, have you got your Christmas presents done? Almost. Yeah? You found them in the pile, didn't you? I, I'm not I, a shopper, so I go nowhere else. I found her. Uh, I found her Christmas present last year in a pallet. He did. That was a good one, though, right? The best gift I've gotten ever. Oh, he didn't say hi. A lot of pleasure. A lot of joy. Okay, so you can see in the first pallet, we got two vanities. Looks like a pool cover. Um, I think we got four different greenhouses. You know, when you're paying 280, 290 a pallet, whatever it is, whatever the math adds up to be, you know, it's real easy to make your money back on that. And we're certainly gonna profit on that. And I don't think that was a very good pallet. You can see in here, some of these pallets are a lot taller, a lot bigger than the other ones. Um, this comes from a return center, so we're gonna put all this, the problem is it's all knockdown furniture, right? And knockdown furniture you gotta put together, but that's what we got Paul for, he's really good at that. We're gonna go through all this. There's certainly, certainly you can find value in these kind of truckloads. When you're only paying $6,000 a load, um, you know, that's that's kind of like my sweet spot because I can buy them, I can bring them in, I can sell the pallets off for 400 bucks or I can go ahead and process them for myself. So, furniture loads from Nova Commerce. Nova Commerce, $6,000 a load. What's 6,000 plus 1,900 divided by 30, 24? Looks like 308 a pallet is what I paid for it. 308. So I'll try to wholesale some of it for 400. Um, break down the rest, see if I can make some money on them. A Game of Thrones Monopoly game? I bet you that's pretty expensive. Anything Game of Thrones. Is Monopoly owned by one person? Well, it's owned by Parker Brothers. Yeah. Look at that. Did you ever watch Game of Thrones? Classic, man. Awesome show. Look at Break Open in Case of an Emergency for the person on the go when you're out of control. It's a diaper, that's kind of funny. 
The Avenger. It's like a decent palette. What's that? A banding tool. The Legend of Zelda sticker book. Did you play it? Need LED grow lights. We sell grow lights pretty fast. I wonder why. What I don't even know what they use them for, Stanley. Somebody said they found like a, a MacBook Pro in one of these pallets the other day. Yeah, that's interesting. The 350. Casters, they're nice. Oh, camera kit. Camera batteries. Oh no, I don't even know. Oh, Raspberry Pi, this is a computer case here. Remember we were looking, trying to figure out the name Raspberry Pi the other day? Here's a, this is a whole computer in a box right here. Five hour energy. Big one. Sugar Land. Ever heard of Sugar Land? It's a country band. I was gonna say my luck's not that great, but I, I think I have pretty good luck. I get pretty lucky in life. I've won like uh, drawings, you know, there'd be like 10,000 people there and I won a drawing at you know, an event or something. So yeah, I, I feel like I'm lucky. Yeah, but maybe because I feel like I'm lucky so I enter all these giveaways, so therefore I'm gonna win more. <laughs>